Yo, 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 what's good guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different than the silent cookups. I'm gonna be doing a little voiceover. Uh, I'm gonna be cooking up some drill samples and I'm just gonna kind of show what I do. Usually for drill, you wanna have a dark ambient vibe with like a lot of keys, uh, halftime, strings, vocals, choirs, stuff like that. So yeah, the first thing I did is I set the BPM to 143. A uh, typical drill BPM is 140 to like 148-ish. So yeah, the first thing I did is I pulled up Philharmonic and I pulled up this staccato violin and I played a melody in G sharp minor. I'll go ahead and play that so you can hear how it sounds. Yeah, just a simple like up and down uh, melody with the string just to give it like a lot of energy. Second thing I did is I pulled up Omnisphere and um, I brought in the softest preset um, in the Keyscape library. A lot of these are good. You can use Wash, you can use um, Dark Score, you can use honestly any of them. And what I did with the softest is I pulled down the timber and I pulled up the attack a little bit. And when I was laying out this melody, I knew I was going to want to half time it. So I put on half time before I even started so I can hear what it would sound like with the half time on. Uh, so I'll go ahead and play that for you. Yeah, just like a dark kind of like in the background ambient melody. And then the third thing I did is I pulled in a choir from Omnisphere as well. Just the standard boys choir. Oh, and what I did is I copied over the same melody from the piano and uh, half timed it as well and put it up one octave. Yeah, that's how that sounds, and um, so I'll go ahead and play them all together, um, what I have so far. Yeah, that's what I got so far. Um, for the rest, I'm just going to kind of show my process. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to add Arcade. Um, I'm going to try to find a really dark sounding vocal to throw in there. I'm going to actually go here to Nightmare. I know they have a lot of dark um, stuff. All right, so I found this um, this preset in Arcade here, um, Iron Bells, and I found this sound. It's not really a, um, a vocal, but it's kind of like a little background texture I can add in. So I just kind of threw it like way in the background. Yeah, that's how it sounds right now. I'm still gonna find a, um, a vocal, so I'm just gonna clone this arcade, go in here, and just try to find another one. All right, so I found another like kind of background vocal. Um, we'll go ahead and play it. And what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna EQ out the low end and some of the high end, and I'm gonna add a lot of reverb to it. I don't know if they already have a reverb. Yeah, they do. Already built into arcade here with it. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to want it in the background as well. Yeah, just a lot of layers um, just kind of give that really dark ambient feel. Um, but I'm still trying to find like a major like lead vocal. So I'm going to add another arcade. Alright, so I went ahead and um, changed the arcade to find this. Um, and I added just two vocals. I'll go ahead and play it.
All right, and as you guys can see, my uh, CPU's <laughs> going a little crazy with with all these uh, things open. So I'm gonna just bounce them as um, as an audio clip, and then we'll be right back. So I exported this out um, as an audio file because my computer was going crazy <laughs> with all those arcades and omnispheres and stuff. But yeah, all I did was I sequenced it out. Um, I started with uh, everything going, and then I kind of dwindled it down all the way down the, to the piano. Oh, and another thing I did is um, the piano was already half timed once. I half timed it again, so it's half timed twice, and then I raised it an octave. So, yeah. Now what I'm going to do now that I have it um, sequenced out, I'll, I'll go ahead and play it so you can hear how I sequenced it. Um, but after that, I'm probably just going to mess with the pitch, um, maybe add some effects and uh, EQ or whatever. So. Yeah, all the way down to the to the piano so um so yeah i think i'm going to try to pitch it down usually with um drill samples you'll pitch it down just to make it even more dark so i'm going to try to pitch down two semitones we were in g sharp so if you go down two semitones that's f sharp go ahead and see how that sounds okay i like that a lot so i'm going to leave it at f sharp I'm going to add an EQ. Okay, then I'm going to add some Mondo Mod Stereo by Waves. And this just adds more of a um, more of the wow, um, like distortion. And then I'm going to add an imager here to widen it up. Okay, then I'm going to add some effects. Um, I got this effect right here to put in the beginning. And then all I did is I added some reverb to it. I'm gonna go ahead and put that throughout sample. And then I have this texture here, this vinyl texture. Put that throughout the sample as well. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna normalize the sample. And that should be it for the sample. Um, I'll go ahead and play it so you guys can hear the finished product. I'm gonna be uploading more tutorials like this with voiceovers. I'm still gonna be doing the silent cookups, um, putting out sample packs, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll see you in the next video.